All right, I was cracking everybody real quick. It's early as fuck in the morning. Uh, I got to keep it down. I don't want to wake nobody up. But um, I actually recorded this video. Well, a video on this topic yesterday. And YouTube demonetized it and won't monetize it. I deleted it redid it and again they fucked with it so here i am early in the morning trying to put this content out for you guys uh yesterday i'm sure you guys have seen it now um it's all over the place so i'm late because of youtube thank you youtube um there were two ogs that uh went on no Jumper with Adam, um, Malvin Farmer, uh, one of the original Gangster Crips, and I had Tola Marv, one of the original Compton Pyrus. Um They went on and they talked about a lot of things, things they're involved in. Um, they exposed uh, the paperwork on um, Charleston White that um, he had volunteered to testify against his crime that he had I guess on the night of the arrest told the cops where the gun was and everything so he had been cooperating um they gave some backstory on Charleston White um I've said before I don't want to waste any of my time or, or on my platform talking about him um what I am interested in and what I found very amusing is um, Ayatollah Marv mentioned uh, his belief that um, Black 100 is an agent, right? That he's he's a plant, you know. Um, I hinted at that idea a while back in my videos. Uh, Big U has pretty much said it. Um, And what I found interesting, you know, and again, look, guys, people could say I'm hating. I'm not, you know. Um, I actually am in contact with uh, one of WAC 100's OG homies. I can pick up the phone and call him anytime. He can text me, call me. Um, and he has said that WAC 100 is not allowed in the hood. He doesn't come around. He knows what time it is. Um those of you that aren't aware of what COINTEL Pro is, um, you guys should check that out. Look it up. I feel like WAC is the perfect candidate for that. Um, the other day, he was on Clubhouse again, and he was disrespecting somebody. Uh, I guess it's some Puerto Rican dude named um, Del, Del, Del Gallo or some shit like that, and He's a Puerto Rican that um, I guess he got called a Mexican and felt disrespected by it and um, used a racial slur towards somebody in the, the chat room or whatever the hell you call it. And, um, you know, it seemed like Wack wasn't really that mad about that until that Del Gallo guy said, well, when I go to the joint, I run with Mexicans and Wack went through the roof, you know, and it fits with... Um, Again, if, if WAC 100 is an agent working for the feds or whoever, then his job is to create drama, create dissension, create violence, and then um, have the intel on who's the ones that are um, actually committing the violence that he creates. That's a cool game. You know, um, I feel like at this point when you have uh, when he has the rolling 60s chasing him around now. He's got his own hood chasing him around. He knows he can't go out there. Um, he's got Big U chasing him around. And then you have two OG OGs uh, exposing him the way they did. You know, uh, I feel like 
Wack 100's whole charade of being the new Suge Knight and being that tough guy and he runs the West Coast. He can't even move around the West Coast anymore. Um, I don't, I still don't get why the game, I mean, obviously he's got something on the game. I don't get why the game is still there with him, but then again, the game is pretty much uh, over with. That's why he uh, made that sorry ass diss towards Eminem. But, um, you know, that, that old G, I told him, Marv said, Pyrus do not stick their nose in alley business, right? And he said, and he's from Compton. They don't stick their nose in alley business, and yet wax from the valley, and, and all he's doing is sticking his nose in everybody's business. Um, I think people just got to stop uh, paying attention to anything that dude does. Uh, stop paying attention to anyone that he's managing. Um, that way, maybe his artists, whoever they are, <laughs> cut him loose and um, sever his ties to the industry. He has no ties to the streets no more. Um, he's paying for protection and he's creating enemies that that some may have more money than him. So his little circle of protection could turn on him in a heartbeat. You know, they're going where the money is. Um, I don't know what the hell. Uh, I don't know where, I mean, what what can he do? Where, where can he go? Um, but until people stop um, supporting any of the platforms that he goes on, which I think it's only Clubhouse is the only place he can go now, until people stop supporting them, um, he's going to continue to have access to stir the pot, to create drama, and it's going to be, you know, other people that suffer. It's going to be people that were foolish enough to um, hang around with him for monetary purposes or whatever because there ain't no more, um, you, there's no juice involved in hanging around with somebody like that. All you get is problems. Um so anyways, I'm going to try to upload this video. This video is not like the one I was originally trying to put out. I'm lightweight rambling, probably half awake. <laughs> but um, by the way, I have another video. Uh, it's a crib story from New Folsom. I recorded it two days ago. That video also is demonetized. YouTube, for some reason, is starting to demonetize my videos. Again, it's like a cycle I go through. You know, I, last week I was really, I had a lot of momentum. And um, they would instantly monetize my videos. Now, you know, they wait 20 minutes just to demonetize it. But I'm going to put this out regardless, all right? Um, you guys stay safe, stay smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.